Uh, this is the first part of our new series, Web Development with PHP. Um, this is going to be a very, very basic series just to get you started. And it's just going to cover um, using a MySQL database or MySQL, however you want to say it, um, with uh, PHP to dynamically pull um, information or data from a database. And what we have open here is um, PHP MyAdmin. It's a very common uh, interface for um, managing MySQL databases. All right, and what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to create a table in this database that's going to hold records for the authors currently on um, or associated with the digital craft. Um, right now, there's only two of us. There's uh, myself and Brandon. So what we need to do is we need to create a new table. And we're going to give it the name Authors. And uh, for number of fields, we need to think about um, or consider how many um, different fields we're going to need. Um, we're first going to need an ID field. And actually, let's go ahead and open up Notepad. And we're just going to kind of quickly sketch out um, how we think the database is going to look. Uh, generally, I do this on a whiteboard, um, and we'll we'll get into um, mapping out your database in another tutorial. But for here, we're just going to use Notepad. So authors. And we're just going to kind of brainstorm the uh, field names we're going to need. We're going to need the ID. And um, you can name your fields however you want, whatever naming convention you'd like. Uh, I prefer to use um, a term that will describe uh, what kind of field this is or what it belongs to with an underscore and then the actual field name. Uh, you can do this however you like. Some people will just simply say ID. Um, I find that it's easier to look through your code later and see where you're at if you kind of be a little more descriptive with your naming. So we have our ID. Next we're going to need um, fields for our name. And we're going to do a first. last name. Um, second, we're going to put in the location, which um, in our site we, we just list the state we're in. Um, next, we're going to put in our website. And we'll just call it URL and our job. Lastly, I'm going to put in another field for status. And what that's going to allow us to do is use a uh, boolean value to determine whether this author is active or inactive. And we can use that to choose or tell the website whether to display this author or not. And contrary to how I name most of these fields, I'm actually just going to do status. Um, not really even sure why I do that. It's just habit, and I stick to it. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fields. So for number of fields, we're going to choose seven. And we're going to come over here and say go. And it's going to give us a table. Uh, to fill out and we're going to give our field names here and to speed things up I generally copy this prefix and paste it several times so we have author first last location URL 
job and status. For the author ID, we're going to want a integer or an integer. Um, I generally go with the medium integer type, which will automatically give it a value. If we wanted to specify how many uh, characters this integer can be, we can do it here and choose just plain old integer or int. But we're going to go ahead and use medium. It gives us a quite a large amount. I don't remember how many characters, but it's good enough. Um, next, we're going to leave these all blank. Um, for index, we're going to call this our primary index. Um, sometimes in databases it's called the key um, or primary key. And we're going to check the auto increment um, option. And what this is going to do is anytime we insert a new record in the database, it's automatically going to um, do a plus one to the value of the ID. So our first record would be one, and then when we insert another one, it'll automatically know that this is going to be ID number two. Um, with primary IDs or indexes, they need to be unique, and this helps ensure that they're going to be unique. Um, for the first name, we're going to use um, varcar, which will allow us to have um, any character we'd like um, in there. The integers is going to limit um, the value to an integer, a number. Um, here, we're going to be able to put in any character we want. So, first names are generally no longer than 100 characters. So let's just say 100 characters. And we don't need to do anything to these options here. For the last name, let's do Varkar, and we'll do 200, just in case it's a long last name. For location, another Varkar. And we'll do 200 again. For URL, var car, and just in case it's an extremely long one, uh, I'm just going to say 500. For job, var car, uh, 200. And for status, we're going to do integer. Um, we could do boolean if we wanted to, but I'm just going to say integer with a value of one. And we'll, all we're going to do is this: the status is either going to be a one or a zero, um, one being active or zero being inactive. And this time for the default, we're going to choose as defined, and we're going to choose 1. And what that means is that anytime we insert a new record, it will automatically give the status 1, unless we specify otherwise, um, which means uh, any new entry will automatically be active on the website. If we wanted to make everything inactive, we would make this 0. Um, so let's go ahead and save. And now you will see all of our fields here. A uh, neat tool um, or function of PHP MyAdmin is uh, almost any time you do anything in here, it's going to show you the actual uh, SQL or SQL coding um, to that, that was done to accomplish what we just did. So this is actually how you create a table. Um, and if you really wanted to, uh, you could just go up to the SQL um, tab and type all that in yourself rather than go through the do the uh, um, method we just went through. Anyway, let's go back to structure and let's go ahead and go up to insert and here's where we're going to put our values in here um, or create our new records. First record is going to be for myself so first name Alan, last name Quant, location Indiana, URL www.alanquant.com, and job um, we'll just I won't list all the jobs I listed on the actual site. Uh, status one. Again, we're gonna we're gonna leave these IDs empty because it's automatically gonna create the ID for us. So the next one is gonna be Brandon. Last name is Milton. Location is California. URL www.brandonsoft.com 
and job software developer and status one and we'll just go ahead and say go if we wanted to insert some new rows we could choose insert new row here but we just want to go and it's going to send us back to the um, previous page so go and again here it shows us uh, what we just did in, in SQL and let's go back to browse and here's our new records here um, now that that's done we can start doing um, some PHP to retrieve these records